Okay, quick look at what we've got so far. There we go, we have pretty wide window. We got a title up here. We've got tool tips when we hover over the window or this button here, and we got three buttons that we've used the fixed container to put in so we can give coordinates and just kind of place them where we want, which as you can see, isn't always the prettiest. Today we're gonna to look at box containers. You have both horizontal and vertical boxes. Uh, there's also a grid that we're gonna look at another day. But um, basically, it will line everything up for you, either horizontally or vertically, and you can put boxes inside boxes. So you can have a bunch of vertical boxes inside a horizontal box or the other way around. Um, but we're just gonna look at this pretty simply today. We're gonna go into our code. I'm using Vim as my, vi Vim as my, vi Vim as my text editor. Uh, but feel free to use whatever text editor you like. That's a personal choice, personal decision. So down here, we created an object a few tutorials ago called Fixed. And this is a container that we put all our buttons into. And we gave them all coordinates. And then we added Fixed to our window. Well, we're going to get rid of our Fixed object. And we're going to create a new object. I'll just call it box one. Uh, so it's an object we can create and call it where we want. Actually, we should probably call it self.box1. And um, so we're going to set it equal to, so box1 is a GTK and we'll make it a horizontal box at first. So capital H, capital B, O, X. And uh, there's other options you can put into these parentheses. We're not going to put anything in there right now. Um, so that is there. So let's also get rid of these lines. And what we're going to add is a self uh, dot box one. And oh, you know what? I'm skipping a part here. We have to add it to the window. So we are going to add, instead of fixed, we're adding self.box1. And now we're going to start adding our buttons inside that horizontal box. So we have our box created and we're adding it to the window. But before we add it to the window, let's put our buttons in there. We're going to say um, self.box1.pack. So, uh, Instead of put that we did with fix, we're going to pack it because they're packaged into the uh, horizontal box. So pack start. And then inside our parentheses here, we're going to say self dot button one. And uh, then we are going to basically do the same thing. Oh, look, I have a little typo here again. I tend to do that same typo a few times. Okay. Let's, uh, just to save time, copy and paste. And change these to box one, box two, box three. There's other options we can put in there. I don't think they're needed. So to keep this tutorial simple, we're just gonna type that there. Uh, and if we did everything right, looking good. So we've created our box container. It's a horizontal box and we've taken our box container and we've added button one, two, and three into it. They will be lined up horizontally. And then we added our box to our window. Let's save this and run our script. There we go. So it looks a lot nicer now. They expand the, whoops, they expand. So if we resize the window, the box is resized and the buttons are resized portionately. If we hide the exit button, you can see the buttons adjust. If we show it, it re, uh, shows. Uh, so that is horizontal. And to make it a vertical box is very simple. All we have to do is change H box to V box. Remember it's case sensitive. Run the script again. And now you can see they are now vertically lined up. And once again, if we resize, the box resizes, which also resizes the buttons. Um, so, and if we hide that, they readjust, show it, they readjust, we'll hit exit. That is 
a simple look at uh, horizontal and vertical box containers. Hope you enjoy these tutorials. Visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. Visit films uh, filmsbychris.com forward slash forums to uh, share ideas and talk and, and share code and get help. Uh, so that's filmsbychris.com uh, forward slash forums. And also chat with us at filmsbychris.com forward slash IRC. Uh, or if you have a IRC client that you prefer, we're on Freenode and the uh, channel is Films by Chris. So thank you for watching and have a great day.